Hello and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Tuesday on Budget Model Railways. Today we are going to be showing you how to do a few basic soldering techniques. Um, so first of all I'm going to show you how to tin a wire. Then I'm going to show you how to join two wires. And then I'm going to show you how to solder a wire to a fish plate. So what you're going to want to do to tin a wire is first of all find a wire, strip the ends, I've got both ends stripped and then first of all twist it nice and tightly like you would for a normal wire into a connector block and then put it in your alligator clips now what you can do is on one of mine I put insulation tape and that is because the alligator clips are sometimes quite sharp so they cut through your wire so what you're going to need to do this is some solder this is SO5G Dencon solder as you can see there it's made in Taiwan and a soldering iron now the best way to solder is make sure your soldering iron is really really hot and the I find an easy way to work out how to do that is if you can put solder on the tip and it stays there then it is fine so to tin your wire it's really simple put the soldering iron under the wire and then get your solder put it on top of the wire and then just drip it in and what that does is what's um, well it basically allows the solder to flow through the wire if you do both of them on top or both of them underneath then it's what's called dry solder where it doesn't provide a good enough electrical connection so that's basically how to tin a wire so for the next thing as I said I'm going to show you how to connect two wires and tin them well tin I suppose join them together so what you're going to want to do is fan out the ends of both ends of a wire like that and then push them together and then twist them together like that nice and simple put them in the alligator clips now if you're wondering what this is this is called a helping hands or a third arm or anything like that I'll leave a link in the description as to where you can get one and again for connecting them you're going to do the same thing as when tinning put the soldering iron underneath melt a little bit of solder onto the soldering iron tip put it under and then melt the solder through like that sometimes you need to put a little bit of solder on the soldering iron before to help it all melt now you have to be really careful again because it's hot and make sure that you're wearing eye protection because otherwise it could go in your eyes I'll show you a clip now but if you do it wrong then it kind of sparks these things everywhere if it's hot enough um, so they're joined now with a good solder, not a dry solder. And then if I unclip them like that, be careful, it's very hot. You can see they're not coming apart at all. Show it to both cameras. So that's how you do that. So now what we're going to do is attach a wire to a fish plate, which is again very, very simple. What you're going to do is put the wire in the alligator clip. Well, we'll put the fish plate in this alligator clip. And you're going to want to do it so the fish plate, the bottom of the fish plate is facing up. And then get another wire. Preferably a wire you've already tinned. So we're going to use that one we showed you how to do earlier. And place it. You might need to bend the wire a bit to make it fit. And adjust it like that place it on the back of the fish plate and then this one is different to tinning and everything but the soldering because this wire is already tinned it's got solder in it put the soldering iron on top and melt that solder that's in there a little bit and then put your solder in there like that and then hold until it does that and so know when the solder is hot enough it should go a nice silvery colour like that so that's now in there 
And what I like to do, as the camera can probably see, is I like to do them so that the wire is sideways. So now if I pull them out, being careful, because as I said, it's very hot. What you can see is that it's nice and neat at the back there. Nice and strong. And by putting them at the side like that, it means when you get a piece of track and you put the fish plate on, like that, then the wire can go just down the side and disappear under the baseboard really discreetly. So they're very simple. Now if you don't want to go through all of the effort of having to solder your own wires onto fish plates, um, I will leave a link in the description as to where you can buy pre-soldered fish plates. But I think it's probably quite fun just to have a go, try and solder it yourself. So have a practice. It's not too dangerous, um, as long as you've got adult supervision. As I've said before, I don't need adult supervision because my dad is clumsier than I am. Um, so a few tips. Again, let the soldering iron get really hot. It works a lot better when it's really, really hot. Make sure to tin the wires and do not do a dry solder. And when soldering thing, um, wires to anything, make sure that the solder goes a nice chromey silver shiny colour before you take the soldering iron off. And then make sure that it doesn't move and that it's held in place for about 10 seconds after you remove the soldering iron until it solidifies. And then you get a really strong connection. So thanks for watching this episode of Tutorial Tuesday. Uh, don't forget to check back next Tuesday for another tutorial. Hi, and thanks for watching this episode of Tutorial Tuesday. Don't forget to click on the left to see our playlist with all of our Tutorial Tuesdays in. Click on the right to see our last week's Tutorial Tuesday. And click at the bottom to subscribe to our channel. And make sure to check back every week for new Tutorial Tuesdays.